What's up guys, this is Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna talk about how you can deal with pregame nerves. All right guys, so pregame nerves are a pretty common thing. I think any athlete that's at a high level or just any level in general has to deal with pregame nerves. And I think it's one of those things where you don't wanna have it, but if you go in with the right mindset to prepare for it, you're gonna be able to handle it a little bit better because I've seen nerves completely eat up, guys. They've been go out there, they go out to pl practice, they're fine, pregame, they're fine, and the second they touch that field, they have that nerve, nervous feeling, and they, they get anxious, and then they shrivel up, and they don't ex go to their full potential, right? Now, how can we avoid that? How can we avoid cur curling up and just not going to our full potential that we know we can get to? I think a big part of that is just your work ethic, okay? And that comes in the off season. So if, if you're not working and you're not going 100% every single time you touch that field, every time you're in the practice room, anytime you're in the weight room and you're not working your ass off, nerves are gonna come because you're not prepared. Nerves come from two things, when you're not prepared or when you're not telling yourselves the right things. You could prepare, and I've seen this, I've seen guys prepare all off season. And then pregame, they start getting in their head. They start telling themselves, oh, I'm not this good. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, did you see that guy on that team? And they're not worrying about themselves, what they can do, what they know they can do, what they've been doing the entire off season to prepare for this. And it eats them up and they won't be able to Continue, they won't be able to play to their full potential. Now, you, they call it positive self-talk. Confidence comes from what you tell yourself. Now, obviously, if you're out there and you haven't worked, you haven't done anything, and you're just telling yourself, oh, I'm the best, I'm the best, that's arrogance. That's being cocky. That's not being confident. There's a difference. The best athletes, who, some of the best athletes in the NFL, Odell, Jalen Ramsey, whoever, those guys work in the off season right now. Odell is working his ass off right now to make sure the Browns are the best they can be. And when he comes on that field, he's so confident because of that. And because he's telling himself the right things. The first thing is the work ethic. The first thing is the work that you put in with your team and not just with your team, because that's not enough. You need to be working on your own as well. Then you then comes into the confidence part of it where you need to start telling yourselves the right things. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I've seen myself do this. Because if you go out and practice and you seek out the uncomfortable, the uncomfortable situation where you do get a little bit of nerves, you're out of practice, you're training with your coach, you're training with whoever, and you're competing because in a game time situation you have to compete, you're comfortable with the uncomfortable. You're comfortable with that situation, that high pressure situation. And once you seek that out, and once you become comfortable in that, the pregame nerves will start to fade. You're still gonna get a little anxious, but that's a good feeling, you know what I mean? That means you care. But there's a difference between being scared and there's a difference between being anxious. And when you're scared, that's when you won't be able to go to your full potential. But it comes from your work ethic and it comes from what you say to yourself on that game night right before you're about to hit that field. All right, guys, I really wanna thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please check out that link in, in the description. If you wanna get signed up on my website, I'd really appreciate that. And please like and subscribe to this channel. That would also mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys next time.